Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Artemi and I am a Salesforce admin at Unway. We are an official Salesforce consulting partner and we help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. In this video, I will tell you how forms in Salesforce account engagement can help you nurture leads. Also, I will show you a hands-on example of how to create such a form. Let's get started. Forms in Salesforce account engagement, also known as Parded Forms, are web forms that can be created and managed within the Salesforce platform. If you want to gather information about website or landing page visitors, a Parded Form is the way to go. These forms help convert anonymous visitors into identified prospects, but their usefulness doesn't stop there. Once visitors become prospects, you can use forms to gain further insights into their needs and preferences. Now, let's have a look at how you can create a Parded Form. Setting up and maintaining Parded Forms is easy, thanks to user-friendly Form Builder. You can choose which fields prospects must complete, determine what actions Parded should take upon form submission, and then place the form on your website or landing page. If you want to create a form, just navigate to Content tab. After clicking on Add Form button, you can see that creating a form is divided into steps. Here you can see the starting position, where you will need to specify the name of the form, select a storage folder, choose a domain and assign this form to the campaign you need. After completing this step, you will reach the point where you need to decide which fields should be included in your form. This decision should be based on the info you want to gather about your potential customers. And now I want to highlight one really amazing feature in Salesforce Parted Forms, called Progressive Profiling. Have you ever filled out a long form only to return to it later and have to fill out the same information again? It's frustrating, right? Well, Progressive Profiling allows you to show only form fields that a prospect has not previously completed. For example, if a prospect has already provided their job title, the next time they return the form, they'll be asked for a different piece of information like which marketing automation platform they're using. This feature is incredibly helpful because it allows you to collect more data from prospects without bombarding them with a long form to complete. Let's leave the basic fields, for example, and continue customizing our form. Once you have completed this step, you can proceed to the settings of the visual component of your form. Each parted form utilizes a parted layout template that dictates the form's appearance. This allows for informity in branding if desired or for each form to have its own unique style. You set the look and feel on step 3 and the parted form wizard where you are required to select a layout template. It's important to note that the layout template should be created prior to making the form. Parted layout templates dictate the appearance of both landing pages and forms, which may not be immediately apparent. Take note that forms and layout templates are set up on the separate pages. There are various ways to customize the appearance of parted forms, including font selection, color schemes, and field placement. The method you choose will be determined by both the desired visual outcome and your familiarity with CSS. And here our ready form. I hope that now parted forms have become clear to you. I strongly suggest using them to capture lead information and track their interactions with your website. If you are unsure how to build engaging Salesforce forms, then ways experts can take the challenge of your hands. Contact us to get started. The link is in the description. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.